Hey everybody, it's Trigger Bar Philosopher. Welcome back out to the range. Today we're going to be taking another look at 5.7 by 28. And in particular, what we're going to be diving into today is how does barrel length affect the velocity of the 5.7 by 28 round in pistols? And in particular, what I'm interested in is how is barrel length affected with this new barrel, with this new system from MMP or from Smith & Wesson and the rotating barrel. Let's get going. Okay, so as I said in the introduction, we're going to be taking a look again at 5.7 by 28. What I have here is a box of the Fioki Range Dynamics 5.7 by 28 rounds. We've taken a look at that in other, other times, and we've shot it through all of these pistols before and know that it functions quite well. And in particular today, what we're going to be looking at is really taking a look at the Smith & Wesson MMP 5.7. I said in a previous video that I was gonna be doing some testing with this range dynamics and make sure that we added it to our common range ammo comparison chart, and I'll, we'll do that at the end of this video, so stay tuned if that's what you're here for. But what's curious is with this rotating barrel that comes with this MMP 5.7, is that we are seeing lower velocities than we are out of some of our other guns. But I haven't really done a really good test with that. So what I have here is I have a 4.7 inch PSA rock barrel, and I have a 5.2 inch PSA rock barrel, and then the MMP is at a 5.0 inch barrel. So you would expect in between the 4.7 and the 5.2, this MMP should scale pretty nicely with it. And we'll try to show that and take a look at the add-ups at the end. So let's get going. I've got a few rounds loaded up. I've got the lab radar. I've got a target down at about 20 yards. Not really shooting at the target, but we're going to be taking our measurements, and then we'll talk about some add-up slides at the end. All right, so first up, turn the lab radar back on. I've been yapping too long. So let's start shooting the 4.7 inch barrel. Again, this is a PSA rock. I just have iron sights on it, but that should not impact our ability to capture it. I have the lab radar set on the rifle setting. 1648. 16.03. 15.69. 1591, 1687, 1587 again, 1574, and 1575. All right, for our add up, let's bring it around. So for add up, we have an average of 1595 with a high of 1648, a low of 1569, a standard deviation of 70, a standard deviation of 26.1, and this extreme spread is 79, and we had a total of nine shots. So next up, we have the MMP 5.7. This is from Smith & Wesson. Again, it has the five inch barrel. And we'll see what velocities we get again with this Fiocchi range dynamics. 1690, 1590, this is the same box of ammo, and out of this MMP 5.7, we saw a very consistent rating. Let's do a, a very consistent velocity numbers. Unlike with the rock, I saw just a huge spread of numbers. So again, when we take a look at this, uh, we have an average of 1591, high of 1609, low of 1582, extreme spread of set 26 versus the 76 that we were seeing earlier and the standard deviation of 8.1, and we had eight shots that were fired out of that. But next up, I've got the 
5.2 inch barrel. Let me create a new group. And we will get this going now. So I've got the 5.2 inch barrel PSA rock. And I think I mentioned earlier, I had this set on the rifle rating. I have it set on the handgun rating. Remember if with your lab radar, the 5.7 by 28 is right around the speed changeover between rifle and handgun that's set for the lab radar and you have to choose that. And so I have this set on the handgun because this Fiocchi ammo ammunition is typically on the lower side below 1600 as opposed to uh, above 1600. And, and, you know, maybe we'll do a check with that with the MMP 5.7 after this, just, just to show and see that I, my guess is I'll get errors on the, on the rifle, but let's just do a check with that. That might be something interesting to look at today. <laughs> Around in the chamber trigger bar. 1662 1669-1688-1676-1660-1628 1639 and 1660. All right, well, let's do the add up. So, for our add up today, we had 1661, high of 1688, low of 1628, extreme spread of 60 again. It jumped up with this, with this rock again. Standard deviation of 19.0, of and we had nine shots out of it. All right, and some bonus coverage. We've got the MMP, we've got about 10 rounds loaded up, and I have changed the setting on the rifle. That way we can compare rifle and pistol settings on the lab radar. Error. Well, you gotta make sure you do it. Error. All right, well, it's all error, so let's just have some fun. All right, there we go. Okay, so why don't we just take a quick look and see what we have on the add-up slide for what we did today. So with this Fiocchi range dynamics, with the 4.7-inch barrel, we had a velocity of 1595, energy foot-pounds of 226. But with the five inch barrel out of the MMP that has a rotating barrel system and it's gas operated, it got 1591. And you could think, hey, trigger bar, three inches or 0.3 of an inch, it's not enough difference to make a difference. Yeah, but when you see that when you go from five inches to 5.2 inches, and it almost makes a 70 feet per second difference between the MMP and the 5.2 inch rock, you realize, nope, that's just not true. 0.3 inches is significant, but there is a fair amount of velocity being taken out by the gas system. I believe in a previous video, I said I didn't think that was happening. Buffman Range said, nope, it is happening, and here is the evidence that it is. Now, is that enough of a difference to make a difference for it to matter to you? You're going to have to be the judge on that. As Paul Harrell would say, that's up to you. So now we're just gonna look at this data just a little bit different way. Yes, we're gonna do math. My daughter always got mad at me when she said, Dad, we can't do math on the weekends. So whatever, not sure when you're watching this, but we are gonna do a little bit of math. We did a little bit of graphing, very basic. I assure you, don't panic everyone. But we can see that you know that, that MMP dips down just a little bit between these charts. What I think we're gonna find more interesting though is this next set of charts where we look at the standard deviation, and that is super curious. I kind of think we found something with this. Notice how the standard deviation with these rounds shoots way up on these rocks and stays pretty low on the same box of ammo, same lot, on the M&P. Like, that's a lot difference. That's a difference between standard deviation of 8 versus 26 and 20. That, that's a pretty big, 19, that's a pretty big difference. I got to believe there's something going on with how the rock chambers the round 
and that is giving us variations. It may be reasons why it gets higher pressures, maybe reasons why I'm having some reliability issues shooting different ammo types out of it, like with the AAC ammo, and I can put a link to that video. But I think that's really curious. And now the part that I think most of you just probably skipped to in the video is we, when we show this Federal range, Fiocchi range dynamics in comparison with all the other range ammo that we've been shooting and comparing it against the Rock 5.2 inch. We can see its place in the highlighted yellow. It's not a great, tremendously great range ammo. It's very much on par with the Federal American Eagle, but it's below the AAC, but it's extremely reliable and shoots very well, even though we have the standard deviation. Of curious note though, look at the, what the numbers are. They're different than the ones that I showed before, because this is what I had shown you. Pre this is what I had recorded in a previous video. And of note, Look at the standard deviation in the rock, 5.2 inch. It's only at 11.4. So, don't know. Yes, I have cleaned it with brake cleaner. Yes, I have done it. It's only probably, it's been less than 100 rounds that I had to clean it uh, with, you know, oil, lube, clean out the lacquer, all those things. I've done those things. I have another video that you can look on how I showed how to do that. Yeah, it's not that. So, interesting, is it the ammo? Is it how the rock interacts with the ammo? I don't know. You be the judge. Let me know what you think. Please put it in the comment section. Is there something going on with these rock barrels? What do you think about the velocity dip with the MMP? Is that acceptable? Which of these two pistols are you going to go with? Please put it in the comment section. And also, if you have a chance, please share this video. Please like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate everyone. Thank you.